chase for Australia. Two overs docked for the uh, Australians, so it's 266 from 48. We saw Zahir Khan the other day in the match against Kenya. He was able to swing the ball back into the right-handers. So far, he's angled it across Mark War. But he'll have to play pretty well at home to retain his uh, test spot. I guess what happened was... Uh, Damian Martin got the opportunity because Ricky Ponting injured his ankle and Martin came into the test side and played well. And that'll put a bit of extra pressure on Mark War. And most importantly, Zahir Khan has shown a good temperament. Starts with an excellent over. Australia, one without loss. That's a much better length. The ball just angling into the left-hander. Just got the impression, which we'll see on the replay, that it was probably going down leg side. Just going into him a little bit. Maybe a little bit about height, but just whatever it is, just, just didn't look right. India scored at 5.3. Oh, that's well goal. Not a bad take again by Vijay Dahiya. The ball swung a lot after leaving the batsman. Seam nice and upright. Just held up after pitching. Apart, especially the one day game. And this one came on to him a little quicker than he expected. Simple catch for Ganguly. And the Indians doing the right thing here. They're picking up wickets. Gilchrist goes for 33, 51 for two. It, it isn't almost like playing at home, it is like playing at home for India here in Nairobi. Zahir Khan. The single of the last ball of the over, just leg by 52 for two. Lucky on that occasion, trying to hit the ball a little too hard. And one thing with the youngsters, you can be rest assured 90% of the time they'll be good fielders. Three players with no, two players with no great pretensions with the bat. First up, Yorker. Attempted Yorker. but one that will mm, India India will be happy with it's 197 what a delivery what a delivery is he out but I like the aggression of this young man Zahir Khan 
He's not bothered about reputation. He knows he's bowling to the Australian captain, but he's dishing it out. This is good stuff in one-day cricket. And a very good decision from the umpire. Block. And bowled a couple of good Yorkers in the match against Kenya. It's all right to uh, bowling Yorkers to Kenyan batsmen, but might be a little harder here. Congratulations there to the bowler for getting the ball right up there, but also uh, a little bit of praise there for the Indian captain. Cumbly not quite able to do the job. Uh, Lee getting after him, so he swapped the ball around to this young man. Got it up there. Fairly full, not quite Yorker length. Oh, that's a big wicket. Really big at this stage. 224 for eight. The ball, right intention was the Yorker. Just got a little bit leg side and hit him on the boot. He's working up good steam. The, the wicket keeper's a long way back. straight down there to get the stumps so the, the young cricketers out there are, they're performing well but they're also thinking well that was tremendous enthusiasm from the young quick bowler he lets him have a bounce and it doesn't get up very high and then he runs out to the stumps before the wicket keeper to throw it to him look it doesn't get up very high hits him on the arm pad and then look at him racing through <laughs> just the intention was very good. He's done the trick. Terrific over from Zahir. Australia 225 for eight. Again going for the wicket. Going past the outside edge there, but from Zahir Khan's point of view, he'd like the batsman play as much as possible. There's no one in the slips in a catching position. And he's generating some pace here. Look at that ball going at 88.6 miles per hour now. That's one of the quickest deliveries bowled here today. This is, that is very impressive. It's a good comeback after being hit uh, for a boundary of the first ball. It was a streaky edge. for nine. 